time to dish with D. That's me. Thank you for clicking on this video and making yourself a priority. I am Denise. We dish everything here. Healthy lifestyle, light and delicious recipes, friendship, and a lot more here on Dish with D. And if you are new here, welcome. Thank you for clicking on this video. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. And if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, I highly recommend you go right down there below, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, let you know when I upload and when I go live. I go live here five days a week and you wanna be notified of that. And now we're doing some lives in the morning because why not? That's how I look at it. It is Wednesday. And usually Wednesday is my motivational vlog day, challenge check-in day, all around fun video day. But this is an extra special challenge check-in fun video day. Why? Thanks for asking. It is to celebrate our next decade in the YouTube community. We've hit 13K. Actually, we're almost 13.1 already. It's, it blows my mind how fast this channel has grown. Honestly, I know some channels grow a little bit faster, but you know, every subscriber comes from love, blood, sweat, and tears. You know, I had no help getting here and I have made every one of you my personal and one of my dearest friends. So thank you for becoming part of my friend group and allowing me into your lives and into your home. I so appreciate it. And to celebrate that, after we go over the what we want to talk about, I will go over a few of the items in the giveaway and how to enter the giveaway. Because I like to give back to you guys, you know? The fact that you guys watch, subscribe, comment, watch my ads, it's the least I can do every thousand to give back to you guys. It's just a little thing, you know, little things. I, I have a few little things planned and a few things that, I mean, actually this 13 crept up on me, so I'm a little not ready, but we'll get there, we'll get there. So. How is the challenge going for protein? You do know, in one more day, it is gonna be July 1st. I know, shock of all shocks, where did June go? I don't know. So June, we, we studied, thought about, concentrated on eating more protein in our diet. I had suggested a minimum of 75 milligrams to maybe 95 milligrams of protein would be a nice clip for us to hit. And what I like, and many of have messaged me and commented and thanked me for doing this protein challenge because it's opened their eyes to what foods they want to be geared toward, what has protein and what doesn't, what they were surprised. So that's, you know, I like to, that's how I like to run my channel. I don't like to sit here and just tell you things. I like to show you how you can make yourself more knowledgeable because I want to empower you. That is my, that is what my goal is, to empower lots of you to think, decipher, contemplate, make good choices. I'm not here to sit there and read off something and tell you this is what you need to do, this is what you need to do, this is what you should do. No, we want, I want you to figure these things out for yourself. Because if you do that, you learn and you do better. And you make those you know changes that we need to make. And it makes my heart proud when I see you guys say these things because you're doing exactly what I wanted you to do. You're learning, you're reading, you're, you know what I'm saying? You're reading labels, you're looking, you're looking at serving sizes and realizing I can have more protein. If I, you know what I'm saying? So you have really grown in this, this challenge. And July, what are we doing? If you didn't read the thumbnail, it is fun with fiber. That is our next thing we want to talk about because fiber is so important. It's a building block in the foods that we eat. And we need to know good and bad and then different things about fiber. What we need to do, what we don't need to do, what we need to eat, what we don't need to eat. There's so many different things out there. So we're going to spend the month of July on fun facts about fiber. I know, fiber. If you didn't know, I take a fiber supplement. Uh, currently, I go different things. <sighs> I do take seed probiotic for my gut health. I'm not sure whether I'm gonna continue that. I do have one more month. Um, I got, you know, I'm just behind, there was a lot of issues with me. Um, I'm gonna decide whether I wanna continue. I wanna see if I really feel a difference taking it consistently. Uh, number two, I also take Bellway, the beauty fiber. It has collagen and fiber. I really do enjoy that. If I had to pick which one I would stay with, I'd probably stay with the Bellway because they're both sort of on the pricier side for the items that they are. So if I had to sit there and say, Dee, if you can only have one, what would you be? And I'd probably choose the Bellway Beauty Fiber. I like the matcha lemonade, which is funny because I'm obsessed with matcha and I do like it. It does look like swamp water, but 
you know what, uh, my skin, hair, and nails, I notice a difference. So, and the fiber, you can't beat the fiber. So, let's get to some fun fiber facts, shall we? I have them all up here. All right, fiber facts. What is fiber? Fiber is a carbohydrate or starch that our bodies cannot digest. Fiber acts as a broom to sweep out, dige sweep out the digestive tract. Dietary fiber, fiber is found only in plant foods. Common food sources of fibers are fruits, vegetables, and whole grains, which I think every day there should be a fruit, a vegetable, and a whole grain. Every day in your diet. Not a lot, but at least one. We can please start with one of these, each of these, then we're, it's the start of a good day. What types of fiber are there? There are two types, insoluble and soluble or they call it water soluble and insoluble, just in case you wanted the difference. Insoluble fiber passes through the gut quickly. It can prevent constipation. It can help prevent infections of the gut. It can also help prevent hemorrhoids, heart disease, and may prevent some types of cancer. Food sources include fruits with skins. A lot of us peel our skins off. Uncooked vegetables, which that's how I actually prefer my vegetables. Nuts, legumes, bran, brown rice, and whole grain flours. So I actually use a whole grain um, from Bob's Red Mill. It's a whole grain pastry flour. It's a little bit lighter, and I do think it's um, a little bit easier on the palate. So if you're ever looking at Bob's Red Mill, pastry flour, whole wheat. Soluble fiber acts like a sponge in the gut. The soluble fiber in foods such as oats, binds with cholesterol and removes it from the bloodstream. This is why they always tell you oats are one of those superfoods. But we all know too much oats, you know. It can help lower blood sugar because it's slow. It slows how fast food is digested. So it is important if you have diabetes. It may help form, <laughs> I say this out loud. It, it may help firm stools and reduce diarrhea. <laughs> God. I'm going to be talking about this. Food sources include oats, oat bran, barley, dried beans, and peas, and certain vegetables and fruits such as applesauce, strawberries, potatoes, citrus, and prunes. How can fiber help me lose weight? Fiber can help you feel fuller longer because it stays in your gut for longer periods of time. This helps prevent overeating because you're just simply not hungry. High fiber diets are lower in calories and fat. Fiber makes you chew more, so you tend to eat slower. Oh my gosh, vegetables, when you eat them raw, my jaw gets tired, seriously. How much fiber should I eat? Oh, good one. The American Diabetic Association recommends eating 20 to 35 grams of fiber per day. Most people are only eating about 15 grams of fiber per day. If you're not using, if you're not, if you're not used to eating a high fiber diet, you may have problems with gas in the beginning. Start slowly and be sure that you're drinking six to eight cups of water per day. That helps with the gas. How can I get more fiber in my day? Snack on fresh or dried fruit instead of candy. Now, fruit that's dried naturally with no added sugars is not bad. Choose fruit cobbler, whole wheat bran, or fruit muffins in places of dessert. Use bean dips such as black beans, hummuses, refried beans, and whole grain crackers or vegetables instead of sour cream. Include at least four servings of lentils or beans per week. Add wheat germ to hot cereals or yogurt. I've been adding wheat germ to my overnight oats. Try adding bran cereal or oatmeal to replace breadcrumbs in meatloaf. Oh my gosh, oatmeal and meatloaf, you don't know the difference. My family does it now. So if it's one of those people, there are some people out there, if they see it, they, they think they can taste it, but you can't. Try adding, okay. Try air pop popcorn without butter or, or fat-free microwave popcorn instead of potato chips. I love popcorn, I think that's fabulous. Now remember, you're not eating a whole crap ton of popcorn. You measure a tablespoon and a half of uncooked, of kernels, and that's what you have. Just so we'll be clear here. Substitute whole wheat flour to the total amount of white flour needed in a recipe. The rest of the flour can come from white flour. 
and uh, well it's not saying how much it's one to one so if you have like a cup of regular flour do like half and half or do three quarters and one quarter like sub out most for that so that it might the mix might better suit your taste but honestly it doesn't bother me the whole wheat flour include at least three servings of whole grains and cereals each day whole wheat oats brown rice or bran or barley now we know cereal is not filling and Italian points. So I'm not sure I would go for that one. Just saying. The oatmeal, perhaps. So maybe you could do, like I've up my overnight oats to twice a week, sometimes three on a good week. I just, I think it's a great choice. And um, it does keep me full with the added protein from the yogurt, I really am. Choose five or more servings of fresh fruits and vegetables each day. Now I do think five is a lot for a diabetic. And for me, who doesn't like fruit? So I at least try to do two servings. That's, do I always hit it? No, but you have to try. So I definitely hit the vegetables for the day, but not the fruit. So there's, there, actually, if you want, I will list this article and it gives you fiber content in certain foods. So if you wanted to check that out, it is called Fun Fiber Facts. I just Googled it. And it's from the Harborview Medical Center. So I will post that for you guys so you can check out fiber facts for yourself. But that's in general, little generalization was a hell of a good information. So I thought I would share that. So yes, I think fiber is definitely something we need to work on. And like I said, I take a fiber supplement. No shame in that, there's no shame in that. But you know, if you're not getting enough, if you're getting enough fiber, you don't need the fiber supplement, then, then by all means don't. But we all know I have issues in the digestive area. That's not talked about that. But I will say having the fiber definitely makes things move a little bit easier. So let's, this month of July, share fun fiber facts. Do you find some fiber information or food that's high in fiber that you didn't know? Share it in the group. This way people might not know. And you know, we're all here to learn. And then it says, the more you learn, the more empowered you feel. When you are empowered, you make good choices. We don't have to think, we don't have to wonder, oh, does that have fiber? Does that have too much fiber? We have to start thinking outside the box and learning different things. So we could really be that food warrior and not have to worry about what these foods are. So that is it. I hope we may do, we did the um, 15 minutes for 15 day challenge from the middle of June to the end of June. I'm thinking for July, <laughs> bug, we should keep up the 15 minutes. I think 15 minutes is a good clip. It's a minimum. You absolutely can do more if you choose, but if you're getting at least the 15 minutes guaranteed every day of movement that you did not plan for, like I don't count glam squad in my 15 minutes of movement. I don't, it's something separate for me. So this way it's 15 minutes extra that I'm doing. So it's not anything, I'm not asking you to go out and run around the block. I mean, you, do, you could walk in place for 15 minutes. You could clean for 15 minutes. Put your watch on other and do a heavy duty cleaning. That's a workout. Don't ever not put your watch on when you clean. Do something for 15 minutes. We're gonna do the 15 minute challenge for the whole month of July. Maybe we'll go up to 20 minutes in August. I don't know, I'll see how I feel about that. But I figure 15 is a good number. So 15 minutes for the month of July. Fun facts about fiber. Are you in on this? Are you in for some fun facts about fiber? I know I am because I learned so much about protein that like just today, how much protein was in a half a cup of cottage cheese, 16 grams of that whipped cottage cheese blown away. That blew me away. Cause I, like I said, there's, there's yogurts, Greek yogurt, it's all yogurts are probably the same, but I do the Greek, um, in my oatmeal with my premier protein and the yogurt and the chia seeds. My oatmeal is substantially amped up in protein and that's why it keeps me full the whole morning. I don't even think about eating. I don't have to until lunchtime comes and then that's usually the big ass salad day because I don't, I'm not starving for lunch, but I know I need to eat something to keep up my metabolism. It's very important. You don't want to slow your metabolism down. So you don't want to skip a meal. Even if you have something simple as a salad, it's, it's lettuce and a little bit of dressing. It's not going to hurt anybody. Nobody gain weight eating the salad. But if you're not as hungry, eat an ice cream salad with some balsamic, with a, a light ranch. You know, it keeps your metabolism up. And especially if you're a hardcore exerciser, 
you need your body needs it. It, it slows down when it has nothing to process. It's, you think it's going to process those, that other fat in your gut? Unfortunately, it doesn't. So I always say keep up your metabolism with good, healthy foods like salad, vegetables, fruit. If you're not hungry, grab a piece of fruit, grab a salad. Nobody gain weight. That's what models eat. Like they could be a size two and they eat, all they eat is salad. So I look at it that way. So let's go on to what's in the giveaway. All right, what's in the giveaway, D? Um, I did show you on the live a few of the things I had picked up. One of the things is my new favorite mug. Have Faith, it is False Craft. So you get your very own Have Faith mug. This is such a great size. I love putting cold beverages in here, hot beverages in here. It's just a great, great mug. It's one of my favorites. So I picked up one for the giveaway. A nice water bottle. Look how pretty this is. Cute, because we should be drinking our water. So why not put a water bottle in there? One of my favorite spices. Herbs de Provence. I love these. And I want to introduce somebody who's never had this to Herbs de Provence. You'd be surprised how good. It's a mixture of herbs from the Provence region of France. If it tells you the mixture. And I'm realize it, but there it is. I was going to read them, but yeah, the glasses are upstairs. But yes, love Herbs de Provence. A bag. Remember I said I got to keep getting these bags every time I buy something at WW, so to give you one because why not right i have plenty of them this cute little set has a mini loaf pan a little round pan i think it's a spring form pan maybe might be a little spring form pan does it say of course i can't read it no glasses and a great little silicone rolling pin can i at least tell you the silicone rolling pin rolling pin is really good for two ingredient dough if you want to make little calzones and stuff such a game changer. So I think I got it more for the rolling pin than the size of this pan. So you got your own little mini loaf pan and little bit. You can make them the the bakes in the loaf or in the round. Look at little cheesecakes. I'm setting you up for success. And I have I happen to have an extra copy of Clean and Hung Hungry Girls Clean and Hungry Obsessed. One of my favorite cookbooks, Lisa Lillian. So I have an extra one, so I am gifting it to a lovely subscriber. And there will be also be some treats. You know, I always put Built Bars in there. WW Snacks go in there. Tea goes in there. And you never know what else I throw in there. Because right now, I didn't expect to hit this. Put some requests. I'll put a quest cookie in there. And some of the, um, the new Skinny Me Chocolates that I'm obsessed about. So... If you want to enter, please drop a comment below. Comment could be anything. I don't care what it is. Just comment. Comment anything. You have to be subscribed. That is a necessity. Subscribe to the channel. You can't be subscribed, you can't comment. So if you're commenting and you're subscribed, be subscribed to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and comment anything you want in the comment section below. Now, this is not a requirement. This is just a request. If you love to follow me on Instagram and TikTok, don't feel you have to get those things. If you already have them, then follow me there. If you don't, don't worry about it. And also the WW um, Connect. I'm also on there. Everything is listed down below of my other social media. So follow me everywhere and comment below to be entered in the contest. We're going to keep this contest open till next. I never say this because I always forget. Till next Wednesday's, um, I will give the winner for ne on next week's um, check-in on next Wednesday, which is what, July like 6th, I think because Peter's birthday is the 8th. It's Friday, so it's the 6th. So next Wednesday, we will close out. I will announce the winner during the um, video. I will let you know who got picked in the random comment picker. There, like I said, there'll be other things in there. This is just what I have around. There may be a candle in there. I wish I throw... If you've been a winner previously, you know I fill the box. The box is usually stuffed. I will say that. The box is usually stuffed. Now, if I can get... If I could find one of the mugs that I usually put in there, I haven't seen any. So if I see any, then I'll throw one of the mugs I put in for the mug recipes. But somehow I have not been able to find any. I've been mugless. But if I find one, it'll definitely be in there. So good luck to everybody. Thanks again for subscribing and putting us over 13K. I'm just a little bit shocked. I'm a little bit honored. And I am definitely humbled that 13,000 people subscribe to my channel.
little channel that could you know i remember my first few months on youtube i just was like i was if you go back and watch your earlier videos you'll see a different different me this is me that was me kind of trying to be me if that makes any sense but yeah so i was very like this and that, let's talk and you know yeah now i'm just much more relaxed much more laid back and enjoying every one of you. I consider all 13,100 of you my friends. So I have a lot of friends now, so it's fabulous. And it's growing every day. And like I said, also, if you would do me the hugest favor, share my channel whenever you can, I would so appreciate it. it to help other people out, this has been something I'm deciding to do with my life. I'm dedicating my life to helping people lose weight. I am. I need, I found something that I feel like I'm called to do from the inside. And I, I hope I don't cry, but it, I never thought at the age of 55, I would want to do something else. I had that job at school thinking I'd be there forever. I never thought I'd ever want to leave. And I did. I wanted to leave and I wanted to do this. So if you guys can help a girl out, share my channel wherever you can facebook groups your personal facebook you know anywhere that you think people you know might need a little extra d you know <laughs> it always sounds weird to say that but you know anybody that needs a little oof, a little support a little love because this channel is all about love and support we understand the plight that losing weight takes on a person it's not an easy thing it's not easy at all in fact i think it's one of the hardest things in the world you ha you can do but it is doable if you have a good support system like this wonderful community that we've created here. Between here and Facebook, I'm overwhelmed at the amount of people that I've met and the fantasticness. Yes, you always meet the trolls and you know, it is what it is. You're gonna meet, you know, I always say this in life, life has to have balance. Where you have good, there has to be bad. Where you have evil, there has to be good. So when you have goodness like people, you're always gonna be somebody that's in there that's not so nice it's balanced life that's how life that's how we live we have to have scales have to be like that can't be all good can't be all bad so i know this so but i've seen all so much good and i've seen some not so good but you know what it is what it is you have to take both you do and you take it on the chin you just keep going so thank you for helping me create this this new way of life and i can i would not be here i would not be sitting here without you. And I know this. And I'm very, very much appreciative of that. I know there is no me without you. So I definitely appreciate it. That's why I like to give back as often as I can. We had Built Bar giveaways about a month, month, two months ago. I gave away four or five boxes of Built Bars because I feel like if I can give something to people who give so much of themselves to me, that's what I try to do. So we're doing this I hope you enjoy it. I have so thank you for being on this roller coaster called YouTube Dish with D with me. I appreciate it. And from the bottom of my heart, I thank you. And let's do this. So remember, leave any comment below and you're automatically entered. It's on this video, by the way. Not any other, and do not, I'm going to say this nicely, but don't comment on Facebook because that I can't, the random comment picker only works here. I can't pull your comment off of Facebook. So you have to comment here, not Facebook. I have a lot of people that comment Facebook. I wish I could just put them all, but you can't. You can only do YouTube comments in a random comment picker. So here is the comment. And if you can't comment for some reason, let me know. I'll comment for you. I've done that for people. You know, I'll just comment their name. And if it gets picked, then you guys win. So that's it. Have a great rest of your day. I We will dish another day. I don't know when I'll be back. I don't have anything planned for tomorrow. I might just take tomorrow off. I try not to film every day. I just try to, you know, have a day off because I feel like I come back refreshed. When you do things every day, it's a little bit of a monotonous. And you, you don't want to see the